The Armory update has now been out for a couple of days, and it's, you know, CS2's new operation, CS2's battle pass, whatever you want to call it, and we don't exactly know what the prices of all these items are going to be just yet, and we won't really know what the real price of these items are going to be for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever, but uh, we haven't even had any of these hit the market yet. Obviously, with uh, one of Valve's new updates to these items is that once you get them, you can't uh, sell them or trade them or anything for seven days, so uh, we're still a couple days away from knowing what the actual price of a lot of these items are going to be and knowing how best to redeem our stars. But in this video today, I want to give some of my thoughts and opinions about what I think will be the best ways to redeem your stars, what will be some of the most profitable outcomes, and how, how I would redeem my stars, uh, whether I was trying to make profit in the short term or uh, as a long-term investment. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, of course, first, just want to mention my cash trading business. If you're looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. I'm buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. You can see here, guns, agents, knives, sticks stickers, capsules, patches, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a great way to help support me, my channel, my content as well. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. So you have nine different options for redeeming these stars. You can go for the limited edition Desert Eagle. You can go for the missing link charms, the small arms charms, the overpass 2024 collection, the graphic collection, the sport and field collection, the gallery case, the elemental craft stickers, and the character craft stickers. And again, you can see here all the relative prices. Again, we're calling one star about 40 cents worth of value since the past cost $16, obviously um, divided by the total number of stars and all of that good stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, what I think is I want to go nine to one. I saw Master Shiny do this in a video. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Uh, my list is a pretty similar to his, but a little bit different. I think the worst way and the number nine way to redeem your uh, stars is going to be for the Overpass 2024 collection. Uh, and that is because just like Master Shiny said and, and a bunch of other people are saying right now that the Overpass 2024 collection uh, is very likely to be coming out uh, into like souvenir packages or uh, you know something like that uh, in the meantime whenever Overpass comes back into the active duty obviously which it's not right now uh, but then it's going to be a souvenir package it's going to remain you know the, overpack, the Overpass collection for some time uh, so that's not going to be very good. Those have not really been that good of investments and the supply in those is going to be very, very big. Now, who knows when that's going to happen, if and when it happens, whatever. But either way, even if that didn't happen, I still wouldn't really be redeeming my stars for any of these collections. I still think it's not that good. Then you throw in that added element just for the overpass collection and it makes it the worst to me. Again, this is four stars uh, for a random skin in this collection. Uh, are there some decent skins in the overpass collection? Yeah, there's actually some pretty cool ones, um, but you're going to get a random one. You're probably not going to get a great return on value. I would stay away from it. Now, next... I honestly would say uh, that the Deagle might be my second to worst choice, my eighth choice. And again, I had this very, very high up previously, uh, and I'm not sure where to put it. I, I know the Deagle is towards the bottom for me. I'm not sure if it's actually eight or if it's seven or six, but somewhere in there. Um, but I would not be redeeming the Deagle at this point. I don't think the value on it is going to be that insane. Again, everyone and their mother is redeeming a, a limited edition Desert Eagle right now. Uh, if you get a good pattern, that's okay, but there's still a ton of blue gem or blue patterns or whatever. So the blue patterns aren't even that rare. And if you don't get a good pattern, some of the other patterns just look so trash and they're going to be so common. Again, yes, it is 25 stars. It is $10, uh, but everyone is redeeming them. And I just don't see how they could be that good. Yes, it is a limited edition item. So in theory, at some point, uh, you know, the, the supply on these is going to cap out and it should kind of go up in price over time. But just because items are limited and not increasing in quantity doesn't necessarily mean uh, they're going to be going up in price because again, a limited edition item, it's not going to be available in trade-ups like people aren't going to be using it to trade up so supply isn't going to be diminishing and if there's no demand for it and it's not cool and it's not that interesting and even the rare patterns are um you know plen plentiful um obviously there's yes blue gem patterns are very very cool and they have more demand than the other ones but still even blue gems are like can be relatively niche items and and if you have an overabundance of them they it just makes them not that great so this is also something that i would relatively be staying away from uh honestly so i would probably go for the overpass collection as my least uh favorite option then the limited edition deagle then the sport and field collection because so many people uh seem to be redeeming the sport and field collection again everyone's trying to get that m4 a uh, m4a1s fade um so it doesn't really seem that interesting to me again not only are you gambling on whether you're going to get a good or a bad skin so you 
might you're, most of the time you're going to get a bad skin, obviously, and not really get your money's worth. But even when you hit on the big one, uh, the M41S fade, yes, it's very cool. But again, everyone's trying to get it. There are a ton of them out there. It's not as rare as some of the other items. So again, that seems to be uh, one to stay away from from me. And then honestly, the one I would be most likely to put my money to is that graphic collection. Yes, you are uh, gambling on getting a good skin or not, but this seems to be the option that people are picking the least. Again, tons of people are picking the limited edition deagle. Tons of people are picking picking the sport and field collection. A lot of people are picking overpass, and not very many people are picking graphic collection. So I do think all the items in that collection, and especially like the trade ups, the the lower tier skins in this, I think are going to have some nice pre price appreciation over time. So in the short term, if I was trying to redeem, I would love to pick uh, some or pull some of the high tier skins from the graphic collection because I think they're going to have some of the highest value. And in the long term, I would love to own some of the trade up skins from the graphic collection because I think they will do well over time. Now, next, uh, after we get through the skins, which again, are not my favorite. I'm not a skin investor. I think skins are overall pretty bad investments and give you pretty bad return. And I think getting a random skin is not that great either. Next, Honestly, I think the character craft stickers are probably my next least favorite option. Um, the character craft stickers, I don't really think they're that good. I don't really think they're that cool. Yes, some uh, crafts, you know, maybe a mustache is funny. Maybe some crafts sunglasses are cool. I know a lot of crafts that can use eyes very effectively. And, and you know, there's there's all kind of different stuff here. These are This is like a crafting specific set. Uh, and I love that. I want people to craft more. I want people to do it more. But I don't really see that many like cool stickers in here. I don't really see that many stickers that are going to be all that valuable in here. If people are crafting in a applying them that's going to be great for the value but to me this isn't really where a lot of the cool ones are so i would probably be going for uh this sticker collection as the next option for what i would be trying to return again it is great that these are only one star but again are you going to get a good sticker a bad sticker who really knows you're still kind of gambling to some extent then i think the missing link charms uh, i think out of the two charms the missing link charms are the least cool um these are the ones that i think will have less value and but who knows maybe less people will be investing in them i think some of them are interesting obviously there's like the little ava there's a the little sass there's the chicken Lil. Uh, I know, obviously, we know so much. We don't really know exactly how much charms are going to go for and if people are going to like them or not or how much value they're going to have. But I think there's like thousands or not hundreds of thousands of uh, patterns per charm. It's like something absolutely insane. So there's, there's a possibility that charms will end up being really unique and actually hold some value. Uh, but these charms do not really stand out to me. So I, I don't know on charms charms. Uh, we know the least about because the, the market for them is really up in the air. It's a giant question mark. So again, it's harder for me to put them too high up um, because we just have absolutely no idea where the market's going to go. But then these small arms charms, I would actually have a little bit higher up because these are cooler to me. If charms end up having value, if charms do end up being this thing that takes off, if charms end up being the big winner um, from this collection, it will be some of the small arms charms in my opinion. The baby carrot tea uh, in some of its different colors has a chance to explode. The semi precious in some of its colors has a chance to explode. The die cast AK, I could see that being a good one. The titanium op, those are some of the ones that really, really stand out to me in some of the good colors and some of the colors that'll be in higher demand. Again, I don't know if charms will end up being big winners or not. Obviously, it sucks that charms are not consumable. The fact that you can just remove them and put them on again, that's a very bad thing for charms. Also, just are they going to have that much demand? Honestly, when I play other games, gun buddies are not really that cool interesting or exciting. I wouldn't really care that much about them. Um, so I don't know if a lot of people are acting like they're cool in CS because they just want it to be worth money or they want to try and make a bunch of money or whatever. I'm not totally sold on them. Uh, but again, if we do end up having some very expensive, very valuable charms that really appreciate in price, um, I do think that some of them will be the small arms charm. So again, if I was going to redeem charms, I would be going for the small arms and hopefully getting some of the cool ones in the rare patterns. Now, next in second place, the second place that I would most likely be able to redeem uh, my stars if I was going to do it from uh, this set would be the Elemental Craft Stickers. To me, these are sick. Um, this Ruby Wave Lenticular, this reminds me so much of like the Great Wave uh, from uh, you know Operation Riptide. There's some really, really cool ones in here. Um, just a lot of awesome colors, a lot of uh, cool designs. The Hydro Wave, again, this looks like the Great Wave a lot, so maybe this will be competing with the Great Wave and that'll be bad. We have the Hydro Geyser. We have the Scorch Loop. Um, there's so many cool things and so many cool possibilities you can do with so many of these cool stickers, but they also just stand really, really well on their own. 
and these I could see flying under the radar a little bit. And honestly, uh, I don't know what their value is going to be right off the bat, but I don't really see a lot of like really terrible stickers in here. Um, so I think that's pretty good that even if you like, cause you're going to get a random pull, obviously, even if you get some of the lower pulls, it could, could still be okay. And honestly, in the long term, I could see some of the big winners, uh, from the armory pass or this uh, iteration of the armory pass being some of these, uh, care, uh, whatever it's called, uh, the elemental stickers. I don't know why it says character craft stickers on here. These are obviously the elemental stickers. Um, so this is, would be the second place that I would be most likely to spend my stars. Again, it's just one star and I think you could load up on a bunch of these stickers. Uh, and I think, I'm not sure how much they'll be worth in the short term, obviously in the next couple of days when they hit the market, but I think in the long term, I think a lot of those stickers are going to be, end up be, end up being great long-term holds. But the number one place, uh, that I would keep saying, and honestly, if you want to make the most money in the short or the long term, uh, I think cashing out on all gallery cases is going to be the way to go. Obviously, we know cases, discontinued cases, uh, historically have been a very, very good investment. We can take a look back uh, and see uh, like the kilowatt case when it first came out. Obviously, some people are saying, hey, the kilowatt case uh, and the gallery case are going to be competing with each other. So the gallery case is going to suck because they have the same knives. Well, guess what? If we zoom out back here, the kilowatt case when it first dropped was $14. And guess what? Even now, uh, the kilowatt case is still going for 93 cents. So again, if you're able to get these for 80 cents, sell them for 93 cents, that wouldn't be that bad. Okay, well, this is the uh, Operation Riptide case. When it first came out, um, the very first ones were selling for $1.93 and then it still, uh, you know, was above uh, 80 cents for a little while and it kind of dipped back down, but then it went back up. And obviously, uh, we know today the Operation Riptide case is like $6. Uh, same thing. This is Shattered Web. Started out at like four dollars, and then for a little while it was trading above a dollar. Uh, and then today it's much higher than that. We have the uh, Operation Broken Fang, uh, started out at around a dollar 49 and still was trading above 80 cents for a while. Uh, and so, so yeah, I mean, obviously, all the discontinued cases had done pretty well in the short and long term. Um, also, with these cases, uh, people are redeeming a ton of these cases, yes. Um, but the fact that you can't buy them with you can't buy stars, so there's not going to be as many of these cases on the market is very possible, and also the fact that you can open them or rent rent them uh, is some people are redeeming them and then actually opening them or renting the skins from them or whatever. So that is going to decrease the supply of these gallery cases even further. Uh, and that's just in the short term. I think they'll have good value. I think they'll be the best bang for your buck, the best ROI if you're trying to just redeem these passes for as much money as you can. But in the long term, again, it's a discontinued case. To me, a discontinued case is going to be the best investment out of all of these. Yes, there will maybe be some charms that do well. There will maybe be some stickers that do well. There will maybe be some trade-up skins that do very, very well. Um, but I would be the most confident in the gallery case and in any discontinued case um, to do the best in the long term. Um, so that's why I think in both the short and long term, the highest ROI and the best investment for me, for my money, for my stars is going to be the gallery case. And that is where I would be spending really all of my stars uh, as far as an investment or as far as an ROI potential. Now, again, if I want to gamble on some random items or if I just want to get some charms or some stickers or whatever, that's that's totally fine. Do you, if you want to get your limited edition deagle, I get it, but I don't really think that any of these skins or any of these charms or that deagle, uh, or whatever is going to outperform the gallery case and holding on to those in the short or long term. But that is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty much it for this video today. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.